The hyperperformance piston has come out, and there are claims that this has dramatic increases in fuel efficiency along with emission cutbacks. But is there any advantage to making holes in the piston head, or is this just aftermarket hype? The pistons can account for up to 60% of the engine's friction. So regardless if you're using a range extender in a hybrid car or using a heavy duty diesel, there are major design considerations for this particular component. For many years, there has been the option of going cast versus forged. Where cast is melted, poured into the mold, there is very little machining and this can be mass produced at an effective cost. Aluminum has been the popular choice for many applications, but as you get into higher pressure performance diesels, this can be a problem because over 200 bar the material starts to fatigue very quickly. This has led to different types of materials such as steel and even the forged process, which is formed and machined. But these alternatives are typically more expensive, so manufacturers are coming up with different innovative ways to produce more power and better fuel economy. One excellent way to do this is to change the shape of the piston head itself. This is a critical component of the piston because there's enormous amounts of pressure focused at this area, and this can have a dramatic influence on how the combustion process occurs. Even as of now, there is a lot of research going into piston bowl design optimization. One way to do this is to use a bowl for controlling movement of air and fuel. Creating a vortex inside the bowl before combustion leading to a better mixture. These bowls can be in a variety of different shapes for mileage, power or emission control. SOA is one of the few companies to take this one step further by making indentations with CNC machines. These indents allow for a combustion flame to burn much closer to the walls of the chamber. The company claims up to 25% better fuel economy and 80% less nitrogen oxide. The company has demoed a few engines with the hyperperformance piston, with the most notable being the CAT 3516 engine in a mine truck. They claim that they can double the lifespan of the oil before changing it out. In terms of downtime for a mine operation, this could be very cost effective if the claim is true. So for industrial and commercial applications, this aftermarket part could make sense if the numbers are correct. Now, as a consumer product, there are a lot more personal factors and even warranty involved, so there is a little bit more calculation to see if this is the right fit. Right now, it's available for Duramax, Cummings, and Ford Power Stroke. And I did check on their site for some kits, and it costs roughly around 3700 US dollars for a 2018 Cummings 6.7. So I guess it depends on where you live and the exchange rate you are based in. But according to the calculator with the emissions and oil changes and fuel mileage, this could amount to $5,800 saved for 100,000 miles. I wasn't totally convinced about buying this overly expensive product for an existing vehicle. But this was really intriguing. Is there any correlation between the bulk geometry and the emission control? So I looked at a different study which involved the CASIS multi-objective genetic algorithm. And this optimization comprised of 50 designs with analysis focused on nitrogen, oxide, and suit. According to the study, there is indeed a correlation between emissions and bowl geometry. They also provide a piston web app so you can design your own bowl and export it to an SDL file. It's interesting that parallel developments of using algorithms along with computational fluid dynamics to calculate what is the most efficient type of component. But it's also going to be interesting to see if AI will come up with drastic and strange new engine designs. There is an obvious regulatory push towards electric vehicles at the consumer level. And one could argue that a breakthrough in battery technology could make the hyperperformance piston obsolete. However, there are many factors in this equation. There will always be a high demand for the transportation of goods, mining, and agriculture. But there also is an influx of lighter electric vehicles for the average driver. But in many parts of the world, there is no established power infrastructure which can supplement the grid for these power demands. And until we solve the power grid demands along with consumer affordability and renewable resources, then aftermarket parts such as the hyperperformance piston will still make sense for many years to come. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment 
Like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.